Well hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some playing with 3D nail art for the first time. I bought this pack of 12 colors off of eBay well over a year ago and I've got this sable brush oval number no. 5 from Sally's and some alcohol and my little dampen dish and of course Woody's going to play too. So I'm going to open this first one up. This is my first color I'm going to use and it's white and I am going to just use Woody's cuticle pusher in to uh, pull out just a little tiny blob and I'm gonna roll it between my fingers to make a circle now I'm just gonna tell y'all that this does not turn out perfect I'm gonna be up front if you don't want to watch it I understand um, but I saw Nora playing with some of these over a year ago and I had to run out and buy it and it sat in my makeup room my Manny cave room or with my Manny stuff for over a year but I decided to get brave and I watched tons and tons of videos. I thought I had this. Let me just tell y'all. I thought, oh, I've got this. I can do this. It's a little more difficult than I believed. Now this first petal turned out really good. And if they would have all turned out this pretty, I would have been down with it. But I did do a little bit of struggling. I'm not saying I'm unhappy with it because like all nail art, it's one of those things that practice makes perfect or at least better, <laughs> you know? Um, I just really, really want to uh, play with this more and, you know, get, get kind of um, maybe a better technique or I know everybody has their own way of doing things and I do change brushes here in a little bit. I, at some point I even do use Woody. Um, instead of a brush to try to shape it and um, but it's a learning thing it's it's how we learn now I'm not unhappy with it um, I have worn that nail art 3d nail art for about four days three days something like that I've been wearing it for a while um, I wanted to keep mine kind of flat because I do work in shipping so I have to be careful with what I have sticking up off my fingernails um, it, so I wanted to kind of keep my design relatively flat and uh, as we go along you'll see I do occasionally dip that brush into the alcohol I don't really see that this particular uh, 3d gel that I have um, really needed it it's not very sticky some of them can be from what I've seen on videos uh, you might have trouble with your brush sticking to it, so it is good to have a little bit of alcohol sitting beside you. So there we go. We've got two kind of petals. Um, so we just keep working it and shaping them. Um, a lot of the ladies that I've watched, they'll flash cure, um, you know, after each petal. But I figured since I had some space between mine, I would just keep going and cure them all together. So I changed to this other brush that just is in my little brush container. I don't really know that it has a name. It came in a set that, of course, I got off of eBay a really, really long time ago. Um, I'm just trying to find what feels comfortable for me. And if you ever play with these, you'll have to do the same thing. You'll have to find what you know works for you and what feels right. Um, like I said, I, but I wanted to share, you know, I really enjoy sharing my first time experiences with y'all because I know that y'all too are out there having first time experiences or first time frustration events or whatever we want to call them. Um, and some people may have never even seen this stuff before. So there's that too. I didn't get sent this for review. Like I said, this is something I bought literally over a year ago oh I was so gung-ho and so excited I was gonna use it and didn't um, I was very um, intimidated by it and I've decided I just can't be that way you know I've got to just jump in uh, like I say all the time it's just no polish it's just no art if you really really don't like it you can take it off and start over with something else like I said I am pretty happy with this though it's not the way I saw it. I thought it was going to turn out way more perfect than this. 
but in the end I really was happy with it it's still on my nails right now I am glad that I stuck to just doing an accent finger though because it would have been just too much there we go got my four little petals and I cured that and now I'm gonna do the top little like center of the flower I believe you guys know I have trouble with stuff or right now I might be doing just more petals yeah I'm just gonna do another round of petals and I'm tapping it in and I'm thinking wait a minute this is just blending in way too much this is this is not what I was picturing at all so <clears throat> I'm thinking let's get that off of there let's let's since I've cured the rest of it I don't have to worry about messing any of that up so I'm gonna put that back in the tub I'm gonna break Woody out and we're gonna just pull that right off of there and I'm gonna use this blue which in hindsight was a really bad decision because it blends in with the blue polish underneath too much but live and learn I should have used like a pink or a yellow or whatever but like I said I like sharing my experiences and I also like it when you guys talk back with me down in the comments about your experiences with products like this you know we learn from each other I know a lot of you tell me all the time I've learned so much from your videos well my friends I have learned so much from you guys it's just that's one of the things I love about this community we all share our you know our successes our failures what we like what we don't like and to me that's just a win-win and that is exactly why I share things like this with you guys I don't try to make my channel look perfect I'm not I'm not out here professing to be the best at everything in fact I don't know that I'm really the best at anything but I definitely keep plugging away and I'm having fun doing it and I'm having a great time talking to you guys about it so let's just have fun together I know this is really hard to sh see I should have zoomed in more but you guys know how bad I am about getting out of frame and I didn't want to like get out of frame and do half a video with my finger not even in the frame so you just go in with your brush though <clears throat> or your orange wood stick or whatever tool you decide feels good for you and you just keep mushing and playing with it and trying to form it into and I'm just trying to do petals I thought this would be just like simple easy breezy lemon squeezy I thought it was just gonna be nothing and um, <laughs> I have definitely learned I will be watching more videos on YouTube I'm not just a YouTube video maker I am also a YouTube video watcher I am subscribed to more channels than I can tell you and <laughs> I learned from those ladies that have already gotten out there and done it <clears throat> I would like to thank Nora over at NAQ 57 for introducing me to this type of um, nail art I really do think I'm gonna love it I've you know I might have just bit off more than I could chew here with this first one but um, if I hadn't seen this on Nora's channel I don't know that I would have ever really been interested but the way that she explained it and did her walk through really got my interest so here we go we're just gonna keep on making these you know just keep on keeping on was really worried about touching it with my skin you know oils or whatever that might have been lingering on my fingers I did clean everything with alcohol before I got started but you know I watched a ton of videos and people were touching it with their fingers so I figured it's okay and like I said you can go in and cure in between like cure for 30 seconds in between each thing that or each piece of it that you do and you're happy with you can pop on in there and cure it or not cure cure it but you know kind of pre cure it um, you know that sort of thing I don't know how often I did mine I just I, I guess I would get one or two and be like okay I'm good with that let's 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 nuke it as some of the ladies call it uh, Naya Nails has on her channel a lot of videos like this 
teaching you how to do things like this and I, I you know so I'll try to remember to leave links especially for NAQ 57 Miss Nora down below and also for Nao Nails if I can remember um, there goes the center to that little flower see I knew I did a center I knew that I did one so there we go tap tap and I was really worried this was gonna make me crazy so now I'm gonna go in with some green and try to do some leaves now the leaves I'm actually pretty happy with I told you I'm really happy with all of it I'm, I'm not mad at myself or disappointed in it I just um, realized that there's gonna be a lot more playing to be done to get good with it also, I have tiny little nails. It's not like I have these long claws to, you know, big canvas to play on. So, you know, trying to get it scale to fit is is quite a trick. You know, you see something in your head and, you know, you're thinking, oh, that'll fit. It looks so much bigger on your nail than, than you thought. So, I'm just making my little leaves and tapping them in. Oh, but like I said, if I didn't finish it, I will leave links for everybody that I've mentioned down below. Um, they definitely, I mean, if you're wanting to learn about this, mine's just kind of like an introduction to this stuff. <laughs> mine's not really teaching you anything. And I know I say that in a lot of my videos that I don't feel like I'm doing tutorials. I don't really feel like I'm really teaching anybody anything. Like I said, I feel like I'm just sitting down across the table from one of my girlfriends and we're just playing nails. So that's how I go about my videos. Um, but, you know, Nora actually breaks stuff down and tells you step by step what she's doing and why she's doing it. And so if you're really wanting to try something like this, I would definitely recommend watching other videos on YouTube <laughs> to get more um, more instruction for it so there we go and by the way that's that peel off nail polish that I have been wearing for like eight days I, and that's why I'm doing the nail art on it is because I'm so sick of wearing that I'm ready to you know so I'm playing with it um, but I'm doing a wear test and to, to do a wear test you gotta wear it right so I'm going to go ahead and add some of my Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I've already cured everything. It's totally dry, rock hard. And I'm applying some top coat, having to work it up into that flower. So we're almost to the end here. I would love to hear your comments down below if you've tried this type of nail art before. If you've got any tips, suggestions, leave them down below for me. I'd love to chat with you. I've got a swatch photo coming up. So there you go. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.